Okay, how's it guys? Alright, so in the past two videos, we were setting up the user authentication process. Alright, so unfortunately, at some point, we did get some issues, but in the previous video, we managed to sort them, those issues out. So now, once the user is verified and all of that, we then proceed to set up the user authentic, the, the user um, session attributes and all of that, and then we redirect the user back to the dashboard. So now, there's two things. Um, I'm going to come back here within the dashboard. So now the first thing we need to do is in this video, we're going to set up the accounts model and user repository. So uh, let me explain what we then need to do. So first here, we get the, uh, get the details of the logged in user, right? Okay. So now, after that, what we need to then do is uh, get the accounts of uh, the logged logged in user. Okay, and then we also need to get the balance. Get balance, right? So, and then what else? And then here is where we will set the objects. All right, so this, these two rely heavily on this particular user model or user session at, uh, attribute, all right? So now before we get to this, the first thing we need to do is, um, here within the models, we're gonna create um, another class. I'm gonna say account uh, model, I mean account, right? And then we're going to also annotate this as entity. Okay. And then if you remember, within our database, the account what is it? Describe. Okay. I'm supposed to remove the S. Oh, sorry, accounts. Sorry. All right. So it's we need the account ID, user ID, account number, actually all these fields, right? So so far, obviously, there's nothing within um within the from the accounts table, right? It's an empty set. So, uh, but we're gonna set up those fields exactly as they are displaying here within the um, uh, the, the the database table. So we're gonna say add ID, and then we're gonna say private int, and then account ID. So remember, name the columns exactly as they are in your database. Otherwise, you would have to, if the column is different, is named differently, you might have to do something like column, right? And then you would set the name within here as to whatever the uh, column name is. But I've named mine exactly the same, so I don't need to do that, right? And I'm going to copy that, paste it there. This time it's going to be user account ID. All right. And then what else? We need the account number. Uh, what was the account number, by the way? Was it an integer? It was a voucher. Okay. So we can set that to a string and then paste that there. Let me copy this a few more times. Right. And what else? Account name. All right. And then account type. And then balance. So this one I said to a decimal, so I'll say big uh, decimal. 
and then we need we created it and updated it. That should be fine. I don't think we need anything else after that. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Okay, so now we can set the getters and setters. Okay, so now. What we need to do is create a repository for the accounts. So we're gonna say Java. Uh, an interface, right? And then we're gonna say extends, right? Then we're gonna bind it to the accounts model. I made a spelling error over there, so let's refactor that. Say rename. All right. So in any case, here we're gonna say add repository. Okay. So now, what we need in the um, in the accounts uh, repository. Um, for the time being, we need to get the balance and then we also need to get the accounts. So here we're going to say list. Okay. We're going to bind it to the accounts model. And then we're going to say get user accounts. Right. ID. And then now here, what we need to do. say value and then before I forget native query so all we have to do in here is just say select all from remember it's accounts right um, where user ID equals to then we're gonna say user ID right and then here we say add param ID and then we're gonna say int user ID okay the other one is add query I'm going to copy this here. So here we're just going to get the balance, right? And then where user ID equals that, that's fine. Okay, so here we're going to say big uh, No, wait, what am I doing? Yeah, it's supposed to be get. Okay. And same thing, we're gonna use the param. So we're gonna say user ID. All 
All right, so remember on our dashboard, there is a section where it displays. Uh, let me close registration, uh, auth controller for now. On the dashboard, there's gonna be a point where it shows the total balance. So that's what I'm getting here on the on with this uh, particular method. All right, so now we come back here. So here we're gonna get that uh, user account. So we're gonna say use um, wait. We're gonna say list right accounts. Let's import this. Let's also import that. All right, so it's going to be equal to. Oh yeah. By the way, we need to auto wire. So we're going to private. All right. The account repository. get user accounts by ID and then we're gonna since we getting it via the user who's logged in how we're gonna get that we're gonna say user um, but get user ID and then that's it all right so the balance is gonna be a uh, big decimal all get total balance again same thing user but get user id right okay and then here we'll set the objects so we're gonna say get dashboard page dot add and then the first one is user accounts and then we're gonna we're gonna get that get user accounts um, list okay and then the next one is big decimal so we're gonna say get dashboard page again but add object uh, we're gonna say total balance and then we're gonna insert that total account balance all right so this one is the most vital one because um, depending on whether the user has accounts or not, there is a component that we need to display on the dashboard. Um, otherwise, if they do have accounts, it will show all the accounts that they have registered within the system. So for now, I think this is all we need in terms for the time being for the accounts repository. And then we created our model. Hopefully, if we did everything correctly, there's no issues. but I highly doubt that. I, I remember when I did this the first time around, I had to do some tweaks and, you know, changes and so forth. But in any case, um, that's it for the accounts repository and model um, um, for this video. Um, I just wanted to set these up first. In the next video, that's when we're going to start now cleaning up this dashboard. Um, because, um, again, like I said, this plays a huge part in terms of uh, what gets displayed on the on the on the dashboard page and so forth all right so that's it for the video for the time being um like i said in the next video we're gonna work on the dashboard and then um, we will then now test our our authentication uh where is it okay i close it we're gonna test our authentication to see if um does the application that redirect us back to the uh, to the dashboard once everything is uh, once the user has satisfied all the requirements in any case um, if you've liked what you've seen so far don't forget to click like share and subscribe and um, i'll see you guys within the next video cheers for now